What is going on guys? Let's make a one molar solution of sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is mainly used to increase the pH for tissue cortical media and it's a solvent to create a stock solution for plant growth regulators. And yes, I will make a video on how to make stock solutions for plant growth regulators. So make sure to subscribe. I will make a 100 ml stock solution. The calculation will be for 1 liter or 1000 ml and then divide by 10. You will need the steel water, sodium hydroxide pellets and something to mix your solution. I will be using an Ehlermeyer flask from Plant Cell Technology. It does not matter the brand, but Ehlermeyer flasks are not the most accurate. So you may want to use something like a volumetric flask or a pipette like I will demonstrate. Lab equipment can be costly, an electronic pipette can cost more than $200. It is something that I may get in the future, but for now I will be using a $5 rubber ball especially made for this type of pipettes. Using a 5 ml pipette means that I will have to use it 20 times. Yes, I also need to get larger pipettes, but I'm working with what I have on hand. This is mainly a homemade lab and we are starting with the most basic lab equipment and then upgrade as we grow. We need a periodic table to calculate the molecular weight of sodium hydroxide. Sodium is 23, oxygen is 16, and hydrogen is 1. So 1 mole of sodium hydroxide is equal to 40 grams per liter. We had to divide that by 10 because I'm making 100 milliliters. I need 4 grams of sodium hydroxide for 100 milliliters. The pellets can take a couple of minutes to dissolve, but that is all you have to do. After the pellets have dissolved, just transfer the solution to the bottle. Now that I have a one molar stock solution of sodium hydroxide, I will use it to calibrate the pH of my tissue culture media and make a stock solution for plant growth regulators. If you want to see that, subscribe to the channel. Also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. And of course, go visit plantsoutechnology.com for more information.